so that's the topic that I'm going to be trying to share some insights with all of you. And uh, if you people have any questions, uh, I'm happy to sort of answer them once we're done with the, the presentation. Uh, so I think we'll just get started. Yeah. Uh, the fact that uh, it's efficiently using your time, and that is what uh, supply chain management and this supply chain management is all about. And that is the differentiator between an Amazon and any other company or a Flipkart and any other company because it is how you can efficiently manage your supply chain which will uh, be able to help your bottom line and which will be able to help you uh, become profitable. I think you are all be familiar with the fact that uh, despite the fact that Flipkart is such a amazing company and has done so well, they are not profitable even now after so many years. Uh, as a matter of fact, no e-commerce company in India has really been able to crack it as yet. Because the gestation period for uh, all these companies is very, very long and although India has huge potential, but it has uh, equally huge challenges and uh, some of them are giving face to some of them uh, because this connectivity is what makes customer frustrated because when you go online you are trying to shop and this happens you will just go to the next site, you will not wait. Uh, so that is only one aspect of the supply chain management because as somebody, uh, one of your uh, bachelors was saying that supply chain starts from the very first stage when a business is conceived to the point when the customer gets the product and even further when the customer may have a customer complaint and they return the product to you, so the reverse logistics and uh, the entire customer fulfillment piece. So the supply chain spans from one end where the idea is conceived till the point when the customer is uh, happily satisfied with the product or is not satisfied with the product. Question, then I'll go to answer uh, what I'm trying to tell you. the mantra of Walmart, how they become such a huge conglomerate, how they become such a huge company? That's right, yeah. So, for them to be able to offer those amazing prices, they have economies of scale which kick in because of the, 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 just the scale of buying that they do. Because they buy such huge quantities, they are able to get uh, bulk discounting to a level that no other retailer can get, yeah. Now, that is something that works in their favor and helps them offer best prices to their customers. But the other challenge that they face is that they have products coming in from all over the world. And in ground retail, one of the biggest challenges is optimal utilization of store space. So, the just-in-time concept was cracked by Walmart when they started using RFID technology. What they would do is that each of their suppliers would have instructions that they were to make a delivery uh, on a specific date, not before it and not after it. Because that's exactly when they wanted the product to store. Yeah. So what they did was that they employed RFID technology and they did this not today, they did this almost some 15 years ago, 20 years ago. So we are that far behind uh, any of the developed countries because they've been using these technologies and that technology is not even uh, optimally utilized in India and Canada. So what they would do is that each truck, each of those 40 foot containers or those large containers that you see, which would be carrying uh, products to any of its stores, was connected to RFID. And that store would intelligently through a computer system be told that you are supposed to reach at this time. So if the, if the, if the truck was early, the truck would park itself and wait. And if it was late, then it would inform the office and they would make some alternate arrangements to get that product to come into uh, the store. So they use this information technology information systems to optimally enhance their productivity in the store because they were never out of stock. 
and they were able to offer best prices. Uh, because if your customer come into the store and you are out of stock, that's a big disaster. Yeah. So this RFID technology ensured that one, they did not have extra products because there was a, a criticality of uh, retail space. So they didn't want to uh, be excessively stocked, which was a very expensive uh, aspect that they were, you know, that storage, they were paying too much for storage. Or they did not want to be out of stock. So they used the trucks and the freighters, the, the cargo uh, freighters, where these guys would then be diverted or parked or would be uh, managed in a manner across the entire geography of a huge country like America uh, to optimally uh, benefit from uh, the supply chain. Yeah? So that's